Byron here from ETA, and I'm really super excited because today we're going to talk about sunglasses. So these are the cheap sunglasses that I reviewed uh, last year. You can uh, check out my video on that. That's the Amazon 2 for $15. Kind of hard to beat it. Or is it? So one of the downsides to cheap sunglasses, just to let you guys know, um, <clears throat> especially if they're super cheap, your eyes will dilate because of the darkness and thus they expand and they actually let more UVA, UVB into your eyes. This can be a very, very, very bad thing. But they look cool. So, <clears throat> I've managed to abuse these for a year in two different countries. I haven't had a real big issue out of them, but I've never been super happy with them. So, if you notice, I've got it reversed right now. And you can just see how reflective these are on the inside. I don't know if it's going to capture it, but we're going to try. So you see how you've got that reflection down here? You see that all the time when you wear them, and it drives me crazy. I've always had a soft spot for aviators. Didn't really know if I wanted the style. I didn't really know if it was for me. That's why I got those. They're cheap. I can skate with them. If I drop them or break them, I'm not going to cry. Well, I broke down and I bought me a set of Randolph Engineering 58 millimeter aviators. So that's what the box comes with. Nothing particularly fancy. You get a very nice leather case. You get a um, microfiber cloth little instruction booklet, and a welcome to extraordinary Randolph Engineering card. That's pretty much what you get. Comes in a very simple box within another box. Check these out. These are the matte chrome cobalt lens, which is actually a green hue, and we're going to get into that in a little bit. Um, but it's a matte chrome, so it's not super shiny. The only thing I wasn't a big fan of uh, looking at the website is the color of the uh, bayonets, but actually seeing it in person, totally different experience. Very happy with them. Now these are the SkyTech lenses, and what's nice about the SkyTech lenses, they have just the right amount of tint for varying light conditions. So, whereas these drive me crazy, uh, even in this setting, which you can see is not that uh, dark, these would actually drive me crazy um, just even sitting in my car because I always felt that they were too dark. These, I don't have that problem. It's a very good um, balance. The green hue gives you accur accurate color recognition, uh, which I like. I like the blue on the outer uh, the blue on the outer should not be confused with the hue of the lenses. It's just the outside coating, which, as you can see, is cobalt. Uh, I really like these things. They're not very heavy. They're very comfortable. They fit very nicely, very snug to the head, but not uncomfortably so. And they just kind of sit right in there. Now, I'm going to show you on these because I don't want to take these off. This is a bayonet temple, and the bayonet temple is amazing if you wear helmets. Uh, if you have, like I do, where I've got my, um, let me just dig it out. So, where I've got my uh, headset here, and this, this is a um, bone conduction headset, so I can keep my ears open. It's quite comfortable to wear using these. Uh, it's not so comfortable with my regular uh, glasses, and it was not comfortable with my previous set of Oakley sunglasses, which after five years, finally died. I'm going to be replacing these lenses with prescription lenses um, because I need them. But any pair of Randolph Engineering glasses you buy, you can pop the lenses out and you can replace them with a prescription lens. Not a big deal. Um, you can go to just about any 
uh, store you want to use. I, I go to Lens Crafters just because that's what my insurance covers. So your mileage may vary. These things are like, they're really, I, I don't know how to tell, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, just the difference between a cheap pair and these, when you wear them, the way that they feel, um, it's, it's, uh, it, it's quite a bit. Um, I know that these are not going to fall off. I know that these aren't going to move around. Everything just, once you get it into place and you got them on, it's going to stay there. So if I'm wearing my skate helmet, or even if I had a full face helmet on, um, these are going to sit comfortable because of those bayonet temples. Even if I'm, I've got my, uh, my headset on for my music, not a problem. Um, these are designed for people wearing flight helmets or flight headsets with, uh, you know, like the uh, Dave Clarks and things like that. Um, so they're designed to be worn with additional equipment and, and be as comfortable as humanly possible. They are quite light. Um, they are impact rated, which is, I think, a good thing. They are not shatter resistant or shatter proof. Uh, however, they are impact resistant. So there's a little bit of a difference between the two. You just got to understand the difference between shatter proof and impact. Impact means it won't penetrate the glasses, thus potentially saving your eye, but it doesn't mean that it won't crack. Do with that information what you will. Um, when it comes down to sunglasses, I'm going to tell you there's three main hues. And what I mean by hue is not necessarily the color of the glasses, but the color that your eyes perceive the glasses as being. So you've got your gray, and gray is generally intended for, um, you know, up on the mountain with the snow or the brightest possible lighting conditions. I don't personally like gray. Um, I find many times, even after 15 years in the Middle East, and even after being here on Hawaii for a while, I, I find the gray to just be dreary, I guess would be the word I would use. Um, it's either too dark or not dark enough for me in a lot of times. And the next hue that you've got is the brown hue. Now, I quite like the brown hues. Uh, however, for some people, they may impact uh, color perception I haven't had that issue with the brown lenses, particularly with the uh, Oakley um, polarized brown lenses. Your mileage may vary. Everybody's got different eyes. Um, brown is great for different light conditions, whether it's super bright or just a little bit dark. Um, for example, I, when I had my gray ones, if I entered a parking garage or a tunnel, I would feel the need to take them off. Uh, whereas with my brown ones, I could drive into a parking garage and I would be okay. Uh, the last primary hue is green. Uh, there are some other hues like ambers and, and there are some of the blues. I'm not going to get into those today. We're just keeping kind of a higher down view. Uh, and the green hue seems to be, um, from my research anyway, and from my experience so far wearing these, the best overall for adaptability in different lighting conditions. So your brain doesn't perceive it as being too bright or too dark. Um, I personally don't like people who wear sunglasses indoors. If you do it, great, good for you. It's just not my thing. But uh, this morning on the way out here, uh, I decided to go ahead and wear them into the store. Didn't have a problem. I never felt like it was overly dark or, you know, I felt comfortable. I, I felt comfortable wearing them all of the time. So I'm very happy with these. I'm very happy with the hue. I think it's that, that blend. And just because I say it has a green hue, it doesn't necessarily mean that it distorts the colors. Um, so far, I haven't noticed any real major impact more than any other um, polarized sunglasses would have in terms of um, impacting your, your color recognition ability. Um, the other nice thing about these particular lenses, they are oleophobic and they are hydrophobic. So they resist 
your oils from your skins and they are slightly waterproof and they are fog proof allegedly i'm going to test that theory uh, other than that, you know, like they're just, they're just a really great set of sunglasses. So I'm very, very happy with these. These are the Randolph engineering 58 millimeter aviators. Uh, if you guys are a military veteran or first responder, they're given a 20% discount. Uh, and that includes a discount on the shipping as well. So kudos to Randolph. Thank you. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.